Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and to another watch review. Today I'll be showing off the Jack Turner Tsunami. Now, a quick disclaimer before I continue. I am friends with Jose uh, over at Jack Turner. He did send me this watch for free, but I'll try to be as unbiased as possible uh, do, doing this review. It's my, uh, I have several Jack Turner watches. This is my first automatic and their first diver's watch. Let's start with some uh, dimensions. While some micro brands seems to be going smaller, 38, even 39, 40 millimeters, this is a 42 by 50 lug to lug watch. It is 13 millimeters thick, including that sapphire crystal. We have a date window at the three o'clock and a interesting dial. We have a wave style pattern on the dial. We had a broad arrow hand handset, uh, applied indices. We have the Jack Turner logo uh, applied in gold at the 12 o'clock. And we have Tsunami applied at the six o'clock. Now, when I saw, saw the renders and the pictures of this watch, I thought it was maybe a bit busy, but now handling it uh, in real life, it all works really well. We have a unique style, almost Tag Heuer-ish style bezel. It is a solid piece of metal that is PVD coated and then filled in with loom at the minutes and the markers and of course the loom peep. We have a solid, solid link, solid end link, Jubilee style bracelet. And here we have the movement. We have a sapphire crystal display case back showing off the uh, Celita SW200 movement with the signed rotor. Nice moment that seems to be growing in popularity amongst micro brands. We have a signed crown and uh, there's a couple of details of things about this watch that I appreciate that seems to have gotten lost amongst brands and micro brands. Now we have a chapter ring. Many brands seem to have stopped doing them. I, I appreciate when they do them and it aligns nicely. We have uh, crown guards and a nice big crown that's easy to grip. Makes it a really nice watch. Now, like I said in the beginning, it's a larger watch than usual, but the case shape, like with all other Jack Turner watches case shapes, makes it wear very nicely and having this female end link jubilee makes it wear wear fairly well for a comp comparison i am wearing my uh, festina it is 39 millimeter watch this is my 17 ish uh, wrist if i take off the festina and put the jack turner on You see, it doesn't wear as big as the measurements would suggest. I have about a 16.5-17 inch centimeter wrist. And yet we have no overhang. It wears nicely. It feels nice. And, well, it's nice even though it is a bigger watch. We have a push, push button a deployment clasp signed with the Jack Turner. And a, the bezel, I forgot to say, is 120 clicks unidirectional. It's a really nice watch. Uh, wears well, feels good, looks good, and yeah, it will draw attention. Now, like Yoda says, some moans and niggles then. Well, one, let's take a look at the bezel action. It is really nice, uh, really nice clicks, but it's about a click. Backplay. Does it matter? Not really for me because it means I can align the bezel perfectly and I rarely use the bezel as a timer but if I did, well now it's in place and now it's aligned and now it works well. So that's the one thing. The other thing is the bracelet, the end links. Um, they match, everything looks good, 
there's brushing on the top here as well as on the the, the end links while the, the sides are polished the upper upper bits are brushed as well as the end links and it matches with the polished center links well but it doesn't sit perfectly flush now smaller jubilee style non style bracelets don't always do that so that's fine that's just a personal opinion that it should sit maybe perfectly there and also the biggest moan so to say is size now i know that jack turner is going into smaller watches there's some 39 and 40 millimeter watches coming and i'm really really looking forward to those and uh, finally before i end this review let's do a loom shot let's fill the loom up with my cheap little uv light and it's quite bright outside it is swedish summer but i want to try to charge up the watch i will cut off the lights and you can see even in daylight it is lighting up and yes everything is loomed nicely filled in nicely evenly the jack turner watch if you're looking for a Diver's watch that's over 40 millimeters and has some unique style. I highly recommend it. Uh, there's a link and a discount code in the description below. Use them, save some money, buy a great watch. And that's it for this review. Until next time, guys, stay safe and uh, bye bye.